This is the before and this is the after. Hey everyone, this is Fanta. I'm back with another Linux customization video and today I'm gonna customize Linux Mint XFC desktop and try to give it a aesthetic look. So yeah guys, make sure to watch this video to the end. So let's just begin the customization. Hey guys, so here I am. This is Linux Mint XFC desktop and this is totally newly installed. So the first thing that I'm going to do is change the wallpaper and download themes and icons. So for that, go to the browser. So here I have a wallpaper and this is the icon pack and this is the theme. Don't worry, you can find all of the links of these pages down in the description of this video. So I'm going to just choose my monitors, my desktop's resolution here, which is this one and download the wallpaper and then download the icon pack here the icon pack is called MC Muse Circle so I'm gonna scroll down and download this one mcmusecircle.tar download click on save file click ok so this is done as well so let's install the theme which is called sweetmars xfce so go to the files and here just download it download click save file click ok and this is done as well so I'm gonna close the browser all right, so let's first change the wallpaper. So I'm gonna right click and then go to desktop settings and then go to folders and here go to downloads. And this is the one, our wallpaper. So this is it, close it. Now change the theme. So first go to the file manager, then go to downloads. So these are the themes and icons. So I'm gonna just quickly extract it. So extract and I am going to extract it in the downloads folder I mean directory so extract all right so these two are the icon spec now let's extract the theme strike to downloads extract all right so what I'm going to do is go to the home directory and then go to views and then go to show hidden files and what I'm going to do is right click and create folder and this is going to be called dot themes create and I'm going to create another folder which is going to be called dot icons and click create so one is dot icons and one is dot themes and what I'm going to do is go to the downloads directory and then copy the icons and then go to dot icons and paste it over here all right so once i've done that let's go to the downloads directory again and this time i'm going to copy the theme directory and then go to home and then go to dot themes and paste it over here so that is basically it so i'm going to close it and then go to settings and here go to appearance and here let's search for Sweet Mars. So I'm going to scroll down and it is going to be at the bottom. So Sweet Mars XFC, select that. This is going to take a few seconds and that is it. As you can see, the theme has been applied. So let's go to icons and here search for the icon pack that I have just installed. So which is called MC Muse Circle, which is this one. So I'm going to choose that and that is it. So if I go to File Manager and here, as you can see, the icons has been applied so if I go to views and then I deselect the show hidden files and as you can see this looks very nice yep all right so since I'm here let's go to the fonts and here let's change the default font to this one all right guys so I'm done with the fonts let's go to settings and just select everything over here all right so let's change the size over here maybe like this okay so I'm kind of done here so I'm gonna close it all right so uh, next I'm gonna go to the settings again and this time I'm gonna go to the window manager and here scroll down and I'll choose sweet Mars XFCE so this looks pretty really nice all right so here let's just move this one I mean remove this one from the title bar and you can do some customization here as well such as you can move these buttons on the left side let's put it on the right side so once I'm done here let's go to the settings again and here then uh, go to the panels and then do some tweaking over here 
So opacity maybe like this. This will work. Go to display. Make it like maybe vertical. Unlock panel. Then put it maybe like here. Then go to items and here go to window buttons. And I'm gonna deselect that one. And this looks pretty alright to me. Let's increase the length a little bit more. Alright. So here I'm gonna go to the window manager tweaks. And here is let's go to compositor and maybe like do some tweaking over here. Right, so I'm kind of done here. Let's go back to settings. Alright, so let's go to the panel again because I have some more tweaking to do over here. So let's go to items and then go to whisker menu. And here, let's do some settings. Alright, background opacity, maybe like 60. Alright, so this looks nice. Smaller. Okay, so I'm done here, so close it. Okay, so here I'm gonna just remove the home icon from the desktop. Doesn't look so good. So, yep, that is it. So we are almost done here. So the last thing that I'm gonna do is install a con key theme on the desktop over here, or maybe like on the right side so to give it a bit more static look so yeah let's just do that all right so for that let's go to the browser and here search for conkey noobs lab don't worry you can find the link of this page down in the description below all right guys so this is the conkey theme that i'm gonna be installing but before that let's just install conkey so for that search for synaptic package manager so i'm gonna just type manager and this will bring me the synaptic package manager so let's go to the synaptic package manager type my password and here let's search for com key search and what i'm gonna do is install these three packages over here so mark that mark mark for installation mark and mark this one as well so i have marked these three packages i'm going to click on apply now and click on apply and this is going to take a few minutes so let's just wait for this to finish now guys if you're new to this channel i would really appreciate if you give it a like and subscribe that will be really helpful and i will really appreciate that so it says changes applied so close it so as you can see that these uh, three over here are green now so that means these are installed so i'm going to close it now let's go to the browser again and this time what i'm going to do is go over here and copy this command so this is so it says first of all download startup script with following commands so i'm going to copy this command so this is our startup script so i'm going to go to the terminal and paste to the command over here so once i've done that i'm going to copy this second command here as well this is to make the script executable all right so let's go to the file manager and here go to views and then go show hidden files and here i'll scroll down and as you can see that dot start con key script is here so this is the one that i've downloaded so right click and go to properties and check if this is executable or not so yeah this is executable so it says allow this file to run as a program so i'm gonna close it so we are done here so i'm gonna scroll down and download the actual con key theme so i'm gonna copy this command which is to install great flavor open terminal and enter following command so that is what i'm going to do so go to the terminal and just paste it over here press enter and this is done as well so it says unzip so i can just manually unzip here instead of using the terminal so let's go to the file manager and scroll down so this is the one so the folder that i have downloaded so i'm gonna right click and extract to and i'm gonna extract in the home folder so remember you have to always extract it into the home folder so i'm gonna extract it over here 
So once I have extracted that, I should see a dot .conkey folder, a directory, and a dot .conkey rc file over here. So once you see these two files over here, then you'll know that you have done it successfully. So I'm gonna close the terminal and I'm gonna search for start. So go to session and startup and here go to application auto start and here go to add and I'm gonna name it conkey and then go to command and here search for all right so here i will right click and then show hidden files okay so here i will search for the dot start con key now remember you have to select the dot start con key script over here don't select the dot con key rc this is the one that you should be selecting so dot start con key click ok and click ok and it doesn't show it now but if i reopen it Go to application auto start and here as you can see that this is the application that i have included on the application auto start list so what it is going to do is every time i log in this is going to run the script automatically so you don't have to run the script every time you log in this is going to do it automatically since i haven't logged in yet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the terminal i mean i haven't logged out and logged in yet so for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to type conkey and as you can say that it is showing me some kind of some sort of error over here which says could not recognize the weather uri so to fix this all you have to do is just go to the file manager and then go to the dot conkey rc script and here i'm going to press ctrl f and search for weather and what i'm going to do is delete this full command then press ctrl s or you can just save it from here click save so once I've saved that it should run perfectly now so I'm gonna type conkey and as you can see it is here so if I move the dock on the left side so as you can see the conkey is over here on the right side so I can do some tricking on this conkey theme over here so this is how you do it so go to the dot conkey rc and here whatever I do it will make the effects or customization on the conkey theme so if i delete these lines press ctrl s to save and as you can see the bottom part is gone now so what else let's see search for image remove this one so if i remove this image over here so what it's gonna do is it is gonna remove this logo kind of thing over here so just try to give it a bit more clean look so yeah as you can see it is gone now so let's do some more other things like so if i go here make the size to 10 don't forget to save it to take effects make it zero make it just five save it so as you can see that fixed the alignment of the date over here so let me just show you again if it was 50 before so when it was 50 this date was clashing uh, with the year over here so I just did some adjustment over here so if I give it 5 then as you can see that it fixed the problem so you can just do some tweaking over here just make sure that you don't delete something that is important just change the numbers so let's what else so make the size 7 and this fixed this as well so this looks pretty clean now i guess all right guys so the thing is i am kind of done over here so let me show you one more thing and that is how to change the position of the con key so if i change which is under the section called alignment tr so if i change the x here let's say like 700 and save it as you can see that it is in the middle right now so this is how you can change it change its position so i can change the position to like on the left side maybe like 1300 let's see how it looks so yep so it looks pretty nice so let's make it intelligence all right so i changed the option over here and which is called automatically hide the panel so i chose the intelligently so this way if i open our application then it will go away as you can see 
the dog will hide. So yeah guys, this is basically it. This was the customization. So thank you for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful and if it was then you can give it a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And if you want to see more of these videos, this kind of customization videos, and if you want to see me doing any particular customization any on a, any particular distribution like, like the distribution you're using right now, then you can just let me know in the comment section below and I will try to make a video about that. So yeah, that is what it is. Take the panel in the at the bottom. So yeah, this looks pretty nice. Maybe like change the axis. Oh, by the way, let me show you one more thing and this is very important and that is sometimes you might have some issues uh, like you're gonna have a window, a border kind of thing around this concave widget and this looks kind of bad. So to fix this, all you have to do is just go to own window type and here you can just type desktop and save it and this will fix that issue and yup that is it and let's just make it keep it on the left side all right guys so this is it thank you for watching i will see you in the next video